How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Uh, today we're going to get the drum and the yoke, hopefully, off the uh, cement mixer. We'll get this disassembled. We're going to have to use the tractor to lift this with and we'll see what happens here. So it's, you know, we're pretty much uh, all dis disassembled, so this actually spins pretty freely, right? And there's a big, there we go, there's a big nut here on the end. And that's probably the shaft that comes through. And I'm thinking of undoing this, undoing this big nut, and then hopefully just lifting, and then li lifting it off. And I'll hook a couple straps on the inside. Now inside here, the hub has a cap on it that I could probably take off and maybe undo it from there. But I'm gonna try to get it off just with undoing the shaft. Recently, I made a trip up to Oregon. Uh, we went out for a birthday, a family birthday party up there. My wife's aunt, she turned 90. And I was able to, that's in Roseburg, and I was able to visit another YouTuber up there, uh, the Essential Craftsman. Now, I got one of his shirts here, and uh, Scott uh, Wadsworth, uh, super nice guy. And it was a joy to visit with Scott uh, up there in Oregon on his uh, uh, project he's doing. He's building a spec home and, for the channel and uh, to eventually sell. So uh, I was able to visit with him and uh, some of my family members uh, went with me. And we were able to check out his uh, construction of his house. It was a good visit and uh, he showed us around. It was a great deal. Uh, I was also able to make a visit to and do a little tour of the Derex facility. Derex, right there. I got a hat. Met up with Richard Bays up there. Uh, uh, he's the senior, senior technical analyst, but he does a lot of other stuff there. He, you know, with customer as customer support and things like that. Uh, so Richard uh, gave us a tour of the, their facility there in Ashland, Oregon. Now Derex. Uh, uh, makes drill grinders and sharpening. They have a few brands actually. Uh, drill Doctor is their brand and uh, Work Sharp is their other brand. And then their Derek, Derek's gr drill grinding. And uh, you know they're pretty much the number one drill grinding uh, uh, maker in the in the world these days. They have some pretty fancy stuff. They even have a CNC uh, drill grinding machine that you put your drill in and it sharpens it and hones it uh, to the proper angles and uh, surface finish on the drills even. Uh, big improvement over the M5 that I have. Uh, so, but uh, meeting, with, meeting with Richard and he showed uh, my wife and I around and uh, basically what they do there is, uh, is they do all the assembly of all the machines there uh, and they also uh, do their R&D work there. And so they have a man little manual machine shop there, which is, uh, you know, a couple of lathes, a milling machine and things like that. And uh, so they can try out their ideas of uh, sharpening and, and uh, you know, new products and things like that. So I want to thank Richard uh, for uh, showing us around there. Derek, so you should check them out online, uh, derex.com. And... Uh, yeah, that was a that was a great tour and uh, learned a lot from that. So, uh, I didn't shoot any video though. It was we were only there for a little while, uh, and uh, Richard was going on vacation, so I didn't want to impose uh, on a video thing. Maybe uh, I'll make another trip up there. I, I go up there because of family, so uh, maybe I can stop in there again, and maybe we'll be able to shoot some video when they're actually working. There was really nobody there. Uh, it was on Friday afternoon, and they were all gone. So uh, stop in there when they were actually uh, doing stuff. But it's uh, just a small facility. So anyway, still very interesting. And I thank, thank again Richard for uh, uh, showing us around. Anyway, let's get this, uh, let's get this drum off of here. This nut here, that's about one, about a two inch uh, nut. Big honking cotter pin in there.
I think I'm just gonna cut this off right there at that bend. Look at that, even turns. I'm not gonna take that all the way off yet. I don't want it to fall out, but right here, they have a locking screw. I'm just gonna loosen this up, make sure it's gonna come undone. All right, we got the thing up on the tractor and we got this tensioned up a little bit and I'm gonna loosen the, that retaining screw uh, that's under there. I'm gonna take off the nut. I took off the nut and there's a little washer there. Now we'll see if it lifts off. The whole cement mixer is up about an inch off the ground. And so I'm gonna give that some taps to see if that breaks loose. There's a Zerk fitting on the end, I, so I removed that. It's moving. All right, the mixer's back on the ground and all the tension is off, so I need, I need to lift it a little more. went well that actually worked perfect so we'll, we'll flip it up and we'll take a look at the uh, bottom end of it so that's the uh, shaft and uh, taper roller bearing here probably taper roller bearing on the other end we'll end up undo the cap we should be able to remove this whole thing, clean it all up. Very well greased. Uh, we'll get this all apart, get it all cleaned up. Hopefully, we won't have to do much to this. A little better, you can see the type of roll bearing. This just looks like a spacer type of thing here. And we got some uh, set screw. That's that. That was actually, it was not a groove. That set screw actually binds the shaft from turning. So I'm going to clean those up to slip all this stuff off. Everything moves freely and, like I said, very well greased. Here's the yoke. Drum set there. Very free moving. Uh, this is a big casting and it's heavy. And there's plenty of, plenty of bearing clearance. Uh, at least that end's pretty worn. Both ends pretty worn. Uh, so let's let's get these off, bearing caps off, and 
we'll lift this thing off of here. That's a grease shim right there. <laughs> nice and thick. Well, at least it's soft. This is rock hard out here. See this end. Same way, soft. Probably no bearing even left in there. Oh, there's the yoke on the ground. This uh, bearing, rear bearing cap came with it. For the base of the bearing housing. Oh, boy. That pinion turns awful hard. Boy, that, that motor would have a hard time with that. So this has all got to come apart. A lot of cleaning and paint removal to do.